Detention deputy arrested. The confrontation caught on camera that ended up putting a woman alongside the inmates she was paid to keep in line. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Yoler, Pasco Corrections employee trading in her ID badge for a mugshot because of this altercation. You can see Leanne Hinman forcing an inmate into a chair and then slapping her across the face. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler tells us what led up to this encounter. You clearly saw this inmate was in handcuffs and she just took a big swing at her. Pasco Sheriff Chris Nako says there is no way to defend what is clear in this surveillance video. Investigators say it shows Corporal Leanne Heinemann dealing with a female inmate inside the Lando Lakes jail yesterday. You can see Heinemann push the handcuffed inmate into the chair and seconds later she smacks her across the face. According to the arrest report, Heinemann claims the inmate used profanity and threw a cup of water on her, although that's not seen in the video. Heinemann also told investigators the inmate struggled with her and pinched her hand as she tried to cover. She says that's what led to the slap, although the video shows otherwise. We understand that those who work in detention have a very tough job. And so when you hear that, you know, there was an altercation and of a slap, you're kind of, okay, well, let me just see the evidence. Um, when you see it, I mean, there was... The inmate, there was no way she was handcuffed. Another detention deputy reported the incident, and Heinemann, who worked for the sheriff's office since 1995, was arrested on battery charges and fired. If there was a fight and the fight was on, that's one thing. Um, if the deputy was in an altercation and, you know, the inmate was swinging at her and there was a fight, but, you know, when you have an inmate who's in cuffs, can't defend herself, and... You know, it just seems like emotions got the better of this former deputy. The sheriff's office didn't release the inmate's name, but the arrest report says her face was red after the incident. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.